Hey guys, sorry if I sound kind of weird and if I might clear my throat a lot during this video. Um, has to do with the whole Texas visit. So let me get into the beginning of that. I left uh, last Monday, so a week ago, a week ago today, I left for Texas to visit my best friend for her 40th birthday. And um, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do one of the uh, parking parking places, you know, parking lot, parking garage places that are up near the airport because that way I don't have to worry about finding a ride back from the airport because I have PTSD thanks to a car accident for, uh, back a long time ago, years ago, where I was a passenger. So yeah, I do not do well driving with other people. Um, anyway, so I was like, all right, you know, that'll be a good thing. I'll have my own car and I can just do my own thing coming back from this. So I drove up there on Friday, no, on Monday morning. Um, you know, got everything sorted with that. Took the incredibly stressful, almost panic attack inducing shuttle ride, the, you know, five or so minutes to the airport got through security, got to my gate. They were boarding. Uh, when I walked up there, weren't quite to my number, you know, my group number yet though. So I snuck off really quick to go use the bathroom, was back. And then, you know, they called the rest of the group numbers, get on the plane. Okay. Everything's great. I fly into Dallas because both flights, I had to do connecting flights instead of being able to just take the straight shot from New Jersey to Texas. Ah, uh, New Jersey to Austin, Texas, specifically. <clears throat> well, when I got to Dallas, you know, it was, hey, this is the gate that you need to go to for the connecting flight to Austin. So I'm sitting there, and then I'm seeing uh, about, I don't know, half an hour or so before it said that the plane was going to depart, I start seeing on the screens around me, hang on, wait a second, like, why, why isn't there anything with... Than the information about my flight. So I go up to one of the guys at the counter when I finally see someone there, and I was like, hi, what's going on with this flight? Oh, that gate moved. Now you have to go to A whatever it was, A29 or something like that. And I'm sitting there, and it's like, oh, freaking great, because I'm in C. So yeah, I walked. I hoped that I was going to make it. I did not. The gate was already closed by the time I made it there. So I went over to customer service and I said, you know, what, what can be done? You know, I missed the flight. Oh, well, we've got another one that's leaving and blah, 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 you know, in the E terminal. So yeah, I had to take the Austin airport or the Dallas airport is huge enough that you have to take a freaking shuttle train to get to different areas of this freaking place. So I leave the customer service with my new boarding pass, pass another A terminal um, gate that says going to Austin and it's like, Okay, bitch, you couldn't have put me on this flight? Anyway. <clears throat> so, I take the, the train thing that goes around, the monorail that goes around the airport, and I get to E. You know, I get off where there, E has two sections. It's like 1 through 16 and then 17 through 29 or something like that. I wanted like E22 or E29 or I don't remember. But I get off the thing and I see the sign that says, you know, E1 through 20 or whatever, straight ahead, E22 through 29, this way. So, okay, I go that way. <clears throat> I find myself in a hallway where I have to take two electric sidewalks down this long ass hallway. And I get to the end of that hallway, and I think there was a turn, and then there's a flight of stairs that goes down. It's like, okay, great. Go down the stairs. Take another hallway. Go up two escalators, 
and then I have to walk down to practically the end of the hallway to get to my damn gate. But I made it. Flight was delayed by like half an hour or something like that, but I made it. <clears throat> And, you know, I'm keeping my best friend in the loop of, like, what's going on and all this, uh, through this entire thing. Well, my phone just dropped, so I'm gonna have to cut out the end of that video. Anyway, like I said, keeping my best friend in the loop about all this stuff, and the, the flight ended up being delayed a little bit, so I was just relaxing there at the, um, at the gate. Finally get on the plane, it gets up in the air, it comes down. We're in Austin. Okay, great. Following the different signs for the uh, rental car thing and all that. Um, and, yeah, you know, got distracted by a place uh, called, some. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it was some kind of bookstore thing. Got distracted by that and was looking around in there for a little while. And finally get to my rental car. Rental car area guys were freaking great. Wrote a Google review about the about them, and you know they were just a really nice, bright spot in an otherwise very long and very stressful day. So I get my rental car. I get myself acclimated to it. You know, test out the brake, test out the gas, all that stuff. Get the directions up, and I knew that I just couldn't deal with taking the main interstate um, that you can that is basically just once you get on it it's just a straight shot from Austin to where my best friend lives which is about you know an hour and 15 you know ish something like that away in, uh, north of Austin <clears throat> so I'm just like I can't deal with it I I need an alternate route so um, I hadn't adjusted the settings on my phone to no tolls and no highways. So it kept trying to lead me back onto 35, but I was like, um, either, either stopping at red lights or pulling over or something like that and looking and being like, okay, I definitely want to go this way. I want to keep going straight where this says to turn and things like that. But it was, it was like a two hour trip when if I had taken 35, it could have been like you know, like I said, like an hour and 15 minutes, but I just, I couldn't deal with it. I just, the stress of going on an interstate where, I'm, I mean, I'm from New Jersey. I am used to 40 mile an hour speed limits, 50 mile an hour speed limits, maybe the occasional 55. You know, I know the parkway and everything, people go 80 down it or something like that. But even the speed limit on the parkway is generally no more than 60, 65, depending on what part of the parkway you're on. Well, frickin' Texas, regular roads, like regular highway roads, the speed limit will be 60. And then the frickin' interstate, like I said, 35 and all that, the speed limit will be 75. And it's like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm from New Jersey. No. I know. God, no. <sighs> but yeah, so I went this alternate way that was, you know, t back roads. Um, but it was still, like, main highway for most of it. It just wasn't highway like 35. <laughs> <clears throat> sorry, is a highway. But yeah, so I finally made it there. Um, and, you know, I was just like, I get in there and I was like, yeah, I, I don't want to move. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I want food, but, you know, that that's about it. And then, let me see, Tuesday, what do we do Tuesday? Tuesday, uh, she took me to this Indian restaurant that is near her that she absolutely loves. And I'll be honest, I see why. The food was incredible. It is spicy. And I am a spicy food wimp. But, oh my god, it was absolutely delicious. We get there. And, you know, we, lo we look over the menu... And I get this, uh, some kind of chicken appetizer with chutney and lime, uh, along with it. And 
then I get this um, like chicken and rice dish and the appetizer I got mild. The main thing with the rice and the chicken, I was like, all right, let's be adventurous. Let's get it medium. You know, give, give her more stuff to laugh at because, oh my God, she had fun laughing at me the first time we were at this place. So we get our food and I tell the waitress, bring all the water. So she brings me, you know, a regular glass of water with ice in it and everything. And then she brings me this, um, you know, kind of like jug like this of water. And I'm like, okay, good. You know, there we go. And yeah, that, that gave me like four glasses of water that I entirely demolished while eating this meal. <laughs> and so I take a bite of the, I take a bite of the mild appetizer <clears throat> And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I have made a grievous mistake getting the, getting the meal as a medium. And yet somehow the freaking meal as the, uh, as the medium spice was less spicy than the appetizer that I got mild. Explain that to me. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. But like I said, it really was so freaking good, but I downed so much of that water. <laughs> she was laughing at me the entire time. She's like, oh my God, you're drinking. How do you have any room for food? You're going to spring a leak. You're drinking so much. And I'm just like, okay, dude, seriously, like in 10 minutes, I am going to go use the bathroom and there's not going to be any liquid left in me. We're fine. But so I did. I went to go use the bathroom the first time and the waitress, you know, call, uh, saw me get up and she was like, oh, how are you guys enjoying everything? And I was like, it's fantastic. But can, can I can I have like all the water? <laughs> so apparently while I was in the restroom, she comes over to the table and she's like, oh, wow, she really did drink all that water. So she brings me a second one of those like little jug things. And I think, let me see, um, I had at least half of that. I don't know, I don't think I finished it, but I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure I had at least half of it. And I had an Indian lemonade, which was really good. Um, and then, um, my best friend had gotten this, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called, Mango Lassi, I think. It's, it's sort of like a smoothie, and I guess it's made with yogurt, and, uh, this one was a mango. It, obviously mango lossy, but yeah, uh, made with mango and yogurt and I, I don't know if they put anything else into it or what, but yeah, it, it was, that was amazing. And also thank goodness for GMM, the one episode where they do the, um, six ways to cool a hot mouth where they're eating habanero slivers and then they're trying, you know, milk, peanut butter, sugar, uh, lemon slices, avocado and toothpaste and yeah they, the, the sugar works <laughs> I I decided like I the waitress hadn't come come over yet and I was running really low on the water and or maybe I just felt like I needed some something else as a possible relief kind of thing so I was like oh hey there's packets of sugar over here okay let me have one of those and I downed at least two of them during the meal but it actually really did help. Like, like it, it helped neutralize things. So yeah, if you're a spicy food wimp like me and you need some kind of relief from spicy food because you are dumb and, you know, decide to experiment like I did. Yeah, definitely go with sugar packets will help. Just, just kind of pour it on your tongue and just like swish it around your mouth and hold it there because it w it will neutralize things. It was amazing. So, yay, thank you, written link. <laughs> and after that meal, I was like, okay, yeah, bland for the rest of the day. <clears throat> Except we ended up going, what was it? Um, oh yeah, so yeah, so I'm talking about Tuesday. We ended up, um, there were one, two, three, four, five, six of us. Uh, we went out to go see the last voyage of the Demeter, that Dracula movie that uh, came out in theaters recently, and it was pretty good. I, I didn't like how they made Dracula look, but 
it was a good movie. I liked it. So, you know, there, there's my rec for uh, this video. Go see Last Voyage of the Demeter if you're interested in horror-ish and intrigue and just a, just a good movie. Um, anyway, so yeah, we go out to dinner after we saw the movie and I was in between getting jambalaya or a shrimp scampi pasta. I should have gone with the shrimp scampi pasta. I went with the jambalaya. So it's like, yeah, so much for bland for the rest of the day. Uh, anyway, alright, so I'm going to end this video there, and I will talk about um, her birthday and the rest of the trip in the next one, because I really need to save my voice and do what I can to help things out here. Um, yeah, I'll explain what happened with this in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.